All right. Uh, Hearts Unchained at War with a Passionless World is the third full length from Imhat Tarikat, which is a, uh, a Germany-based black metal band from a fellow who's uh, Turkish-German. And uh, each recording from this artist has been fairly consistent. The first uh, EP slash demo was, was certainly different because the vocals were garbled and full of effects. Uh, but he's had a different drummer for every recording because it really is, as he stated, all about his songwriting, his vision, and his idea. And, you know, the thing to say about it is that it... Uh, this is music that is meant to convey emotion. It's from someone who connected with heavy metal and black metal in general because it was a vehicle to unlock that part of himself. And it's very clear that it was somewhere between uh, about 2015 and 2019 that he hit not only a professional standard, but the ability to be very expressive through both studio tricks for, you know, like vocal effects and things like that, and uh, strong melodic black metal guitar playing, which... Um, does take a back seat in terms of uh, profundity that you would find in the classics, but it still helps to the vehicle of the vocals sort of uh, project uh, a lot of charisma. And charisma really counts on these records as we go through them. I think uh, I remember being recommended the first or the second record when, when it came, probably the first when it came out. And uh, it was compared to Bolzer. And I was like, well, aesthetically, yes. And, you know, you do see a lot of the inventive uh, vocal lines. A lot of that is in that same spirit. And in some cases, it's very similar. But the music underneath is very different. It's much less based in death metal. And it uh, has a, a, obviously a very different guitar and sound throughout its layers, which are less soaked with reverb as we go through the discography and this new one really gives a lot more clarity with uh some of the less interesting ideas are, are now less buried and i think that's kind of my issue with this record in general is that now that these layers of reverb are being pulled away from the sort of gimmick that's kind of built it kind of built off of we're getting uh we might be getting more meaningful lyrics we might be getting much better vocal performances and uh, really kind of thoughtful arrangements in that regard, but we're not getting guitar work that holds up quite as well to repeat listens. And I feel like the band begins to run out of ideas along those original lines when we start to hear post-punk influenced songs like Streams of Power, Canavar, which I don't inherently dislike, and I understand that fits quite well with... Uh, you know, where German black metal is going and has gone and will be going. But it feels like a obvious addition to a sound that could go kind of anywhere with the charisma that it has to throw around. And instead of going for dynamic, it just goes for a different mood, which doesn't really fit the whole conversation as it's been presented throughout. So the, the second half of this album is a little bit lacking and consistency it feels like it's interrupted for the sake of kind of like a commercial uh, idea but it's a very small gripe and a very good melodic black metal record and i think fans like wada and uh i mean the vocal effect should remind a lot of people of uh, classic alchemist records uh especially when we get to the uh the post-punk influence song because that is the direction alchemist went in the uh early 2000s so there's a lot to like about this album and it really it isn't necessarily that they've got all the riffs in the world or that uh, it, the drumming is particularly inspired it's, it's more that the uh, the charisma the message the lyrics and the idea impresses with each successive album and i feel like they've kind of leveled out with this one this is more like this is the signature of the band this is what they want to do and this is kind of the uh, the foundation solidified and uh, now that it's time to experiment a little bit i'm not as interested but 
I think that between this is a great cap for that first uh, form those formative years, which is more or less three albums in three years, and I find that very impressive. And I found this record as you know passionate as you would expect with that uh, that album title. So I definitely re recommend it. It is a high recommendation for me. And there's a, there's a lot more details in the review itself. So read the written review and check it out if it sounds like your kind of thing.